Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here. We're here at NVIDIA's booth at CES 2013. I'm speaking with uh, Chad. And Chad, what are we taking a look at here today? Today we're taking a look at Battlefield 3 running on a Nexus 7. And okay. how we're able to do this is by NVIDIA Grid. We're showcasing the that we believe that we've fixed cloud gaming. And uh, how we've done this is we've architected our own server, um, set up a virtualization layer that's outstanding. And we've also utilized our own streamer to clients. And your clients do not need any special hardware to run this. It just use H.264, so you just need a H.264 uh, encoder. Uh, software encoder will work. And it'll be able to play cloud gaming at 720 with little to no latency at all. I basically feel it as no latency because we fix the encoding issues on the server side. Instead of doing the video, uh, the video encoding on a proprietary device, we do that local to the GPU so you have no hardware lag at all. Right. Uh, okay. Users could expect to see this type of environment uh, from someone else uh, hosting it because this is a business to business model. So the end result would be a company would host this and then they would have a direct route to their customers as well. And I think that optimizes uh, the playability of the end user and it'll also um, get this out to the market better. And this, this allows for developers to, to have a free run on it. We've made the architecture very dynamic for them. Okay, and can you tell us about, so first of all, you don't need a GeForce graphics card or even a PC for this, right? Well, everyone needs a GeForce PC. Everyone needs that for sure. But for this service, you don't. Okay. Um, this is just a, just, it's just a, another way to optimize gaming for every user. So let's say your PC goes down for whatever reason or something happens. You can pick up your tablet. You can pick up your phone on LTE. You'll be able to launch this and get back into the action. Because from the cloud, we have enabled multiplayer and game state. I see. And uh, because, I mean, I, I got my hands on this a little earlier. I was playing around with it. And I agree with you. The lag, actually, I couldn't really tell if it was there. Um, there doesn't seem to be that much of compression going on as far as I can tell. Because it's working so well, <clears throat> do, you, do you, I mean, could a problem arise where people just use this in the future and they don't buy GeForce graphics cards? Is that something that you guys have thought about? Um, We've thought about it a little, but I doubt that'll be the case because we've utilized the streaming technology from our local PCs to work with Shield. So with the next-gen handheld gaming device, you can use our same streamer that we've wrote to stream from your PC to uh, play on it. So this is kind of just a, a complete 360-degree uh, attack on the gaming environment. This is gamers trying to figure out what's the best way that we want to do and enjoy our graphics. Okay, and uh, because this is a, a sort of uh, streaming technology, uh, how is the technology better than, you know, like the on live and, and other competitors? Um, I'm not saying that we're better. This is just showcasing our technology. So we're not competing with them. We're not taking this straight to market or anything like that. They're great companies. Uh, what does this? What? How this benefits is our virtualization layer is pretty intelligent on how it gives each VM optimal playable settings, uh, great hardware, top notch server class hardware, and our current and latest gen GPUs. So you're doing server class gaming rig all to yourself, streaming in 720 and uh, 1080, depending on the provider. Cool, and uh, when do you think this technology will be available for consumers? For consumers, hopefully in the summer, I, I'm hoping. Cool, all right, thank you, Chad. Thank you.